First look at official Lineage OS 18.1 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And we finally have official builds of Lineage OS 18.1 based on Android 11 available for the Xiaomi Poco F1. Do note the build which we are using right now is a nightly build and you should not expect it to be as stable as a stable build. Now the kernel they are using is perf kernel. The build date of this ROM is from April 10th and it is a user debug build. Do note I am using Nix stock G apps on top which means select works without any issues screenshot works tap on share quick share menu in the building and then press and hold on any application pin messages and you can pin the messages application to your quick share menu another thing i would like to mention is that lineage os does not have ir face unlock or app lock which means most of you would have closed the video by now next up we can go into magisk my device is not rooted right now we can check for safety net and as you can see safety net is failing right now and if you go into the play store device is not certified either which means that you will have to root your device enable magisk hide do the props mod for you to pass safety net so that you can use your banking apps this means some more of you would have closed the video by now next thing hey google is broken right now because if i go into settings apps and notifications and then if i go into default apps digital assistant application settings voice match enable it it enables in fact it is not even letting me enable it right now it is currently unavailable for this language it says and we can go into settings system languages and input language is set as english united states so hey google is also broken on this build again this is a user debug build which means you do have to report the issues to the developer using logs and those are the disadvantages of using a nightly build next thing we can do is check out the volume panel so finally with lineage os 18.1 you do get the new style of volume panel which has been present in other custom roms for quite some time then you have a button on top to change between the different ringer modes and you also have the button at the bottom to enable or disable live caption as for the power menu this is how the power menu looks like as you can see android 11 easter egg along with bubbles works without any issues do note whatsapp does not support bubbles right now the google feed is pretty smooth no jitters and no lags recents again smooth no jitters and no lags in the recents either app opening animations are pretty smooth as well and we can also try to switch between a few applications again no issues there either next up we can have a look at the different tiles which come baked into the rom so here are the different tiles you have tap on the edit icon and you can add other tiles as well so you have ambient caffeine heads up system profiles volume panel and a bunch of other options tap on the three dot menu on the top right the only option you have is to reset you do have android 11 screen recorder which is going to let you record device audio and microphone at the same time let us give it a try and screen recording has started let us open a few applications and see if there is any lag in the ui and as you can see on your screen there is no lag in the ui when screen recording is going on now once screen recording is done you can of course choose to share it and yes you do have the option of notification history as well in case you want to use that other than that you also have the blur and zoom effect working without any issues when you access your quick settings panel next thing let us go into settings network and internet wi-fi tap on the wi-fi name one more time option to disconnect in the center and the option to auto connect on a per wi-fi basis both these options are present without any issues next thing go into apps and notifications see all apps let us open the camera application go into permissions and say camera three different options allow only while using the app 
ask every time or deny then you also have a toggle to remove the permissions for a specific application if it is not used for some time then if you go into mobile data and Wi-Fi you do have per app network isolation so you can determine whether this specific application has access to Wi-Fi data mobile data background data VPN and a bunch of other options other than that you do have priority conversations works without any issues we already talked about notification history and Android 11 bubbles working without any issues either and next up we can head over to battery so in battery you do have thermal profiles and here on screen are the different thermal options which you have which you can choose on a per app basis adaptive battery is also present along with the option to customize the battery light so you can either turn it on or off and pulse the battery if it is low then in battery saver you do have extreme battery saver and you also have the option to enable battery saver automatically based on the battery percentage options other than that you have last full charge and screen usage since last full charge moving over to display you can of course change your brightness level dark theme is present and you can customize it to turn on and off at a custom time then you have night light adaptive brightness and yes live display is present you can change your color profile then you can calibrate the rgbs in case you screw up reset similarly for picture adjustment you can adjust the hue saturation intensity and all the other options again if you screw up reset and you should be good to go next up we have styles and wallpapers so go into wallpaper you can of course set up your wallpaper go into style only one theme is baked in out of the box tap on custom you can choose between four different font options for the icon options you can choose between five different options for your colors here are the different options again no rgb picker and then for the icon shapes here are the different icon shapes which are available tap on next give it a name apply it and you should be good to go in terms of grid you can choose default 4x4 3x3 and 2x2 two two. then for the clock you have three different options for your lock screen clocks other than that we can go into screen timeout so you can change that then you also have screen attention again it is going to use the front camera to check whether you're looking at the screen or not then you can configure your rotation angles on a per angle basis 0 90 180 and 270 similarly you can also change the font size display size and you can choose full screen applications moving over to lock screen so you can configure your notifications on the lock screen add a text on the lock screen in case you want to display the media cover art music visualizer is present now playing is broken then you have ambient so you can enable or disable pickup hand wave and pocket mode you have toggles for all those options no always on display on lineage os then you have toggles for double tap to wake prevent accidental wake up double tap to sleep on the status bar or lock screen wake on plug so we can test out some of these options double tap to sleep on the status bar double tap to wake double tap to sleep on the lock screen all of those options working without any issues next up we can move over to sound so in sound you have of course the sliders for the different volumes then you can also link and delink your ring and notification volumes in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that once you enable that you can choose your start volume and ramp up time then you have live caption now playing as i mentioned earlier is broken then you have toggles for dial pad tones screen locking sound charging sounds and vibration touch sounds touch vibration and yes direct sound enhancer is baked into lineage os next up we have privacy so this is something which lineage os is known for you have your privacy dashboard along with permission manager then you also have something called trust so as you can see se linux is enforcing right now and then the platform is up to date the vendor is a few months out of date encryption of course is disabled because i choose to prefer a device which is not encrypted then you can restrict usb access sms message limit other than that 
you can also choose your activity controls google location history you have a toggle for allowing the apps to send content to the android system next up you have security so in security as i mentioned at the beginning of the video the only option you have with lineage os is fingerprint lock or pin password and pattern moving over to system this is where you have customizations by lineage os first up is buttons so if you are using the three button you can invert the layout then you also have edge long swipe action as you can see mine is set to recent app switcher right now so long swipe the arrows change to two arrows and this should now open up the recents then you have customization for power button so end the call by pressing the power button long press for torch let us test that out and there it is long press for torch working without any issues then you can also choose to automatically turn it off based on the duration you choose over here next step you have volume button customization so you can choose to wake your device with the volume buttons answer a call control music playback by long pressing the volume when the screen is turned off keyboard cursor control is present if you want to swap the volume buttons when screen is rotated and in case you want to see the volume panel on the left for those of you who have oneplus devices you have a toggle for that as well and partial screenshot is also present so a short click of volume down and power and here it is partial screenshot check mark works like a boss without any issues and you can now either share it or edit it in case you want to next up you have system profiles so this is something which is useful say if you are in different environments you can set a different profile for home one for the car one for the work so you can choose whether you want your wi-fi on what theme you want and a bunch of other customizations are present with system profiles next up we have customization for the status bar so quick pull down right now if i pull down from the right it will be expanded pull down from the left it will not be expanded what all icons you want to see in your status bar you have toggles for all these options then you can change the clock position do you want it right or left of course center is not an option for a device with a notch in case you want to see the seconds you have a toggle for that as well and you can change your am pm style as well then you have battery style customization so icon portrait circle or text if you are using icon portrait and circle you can choose the battery percentage as well then you have brightness slider customization for your quick settings when do you want it never show show when expanded or show always do you want to see the button for automatic brightness and they're talking about the slider and the button over here the one with a and if you want to control the brightness by sliding across the status bar you have a toggle for that as well moving over to gestures you can quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice from any screen system navigation you have three different options full screen gestures two button or three button for the customization for full screen gestures you can hide the bar at the bottom in case you want to and you also have the option to choose the sensitivity for the left and the right edge in case you want to do that then you have prevent ringing so you can press volume up and power together to put the phone in vibrate or in mute as long as the master toggle is enabled then you can customize your power menu in case you want to see advanced restart you can do that and there it is that is how advanced restart looks like you can choose your device controls and in case you want to hide sensitive content from your lock screen once you've entered a pen or fingerprint you can do that as well other than that with lineage os 18.1 if you go into backup change backup provider you can now use seed vault for your backups in case you want to and if you go into updater three dot menu on the top right and then go into preferences in case you want to use lineage os recovery you have a toggle for that as well of course this will appear only for non ab devices as far as i know next thing we can do is check for the different apps which are baked in so lineage os 18.1 does come with their new recorder application which lets you pause a recording while you are recording it and you can resume from wherever you want to and they also have settings wherein you can change the recording quality in case you want to and if you tap on the music icon here it is these are the different recordings tap on the three dot menu you can rename it share it and 
delete it in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine no jitters no lags picture in picture works live caption works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to be in a specific country or you need to have youtube premium prime hd not even going to check because it's a hot mess by poco india and hd playback from prime has been broken on the poco f1 for ages now next thing we can check for is the google photos application and see if we have the portrait light feature so here it is a photograph of my favorite football star and we'll wait for this bar to finish loading go into adjust and bam here it is you do have the feature of portrait light working without any issues other than that you know linear joyce is known for its simplicity but stability and even though this is a nightly build but it has been very good for me no random reboots or anything like that the rom of course is pretty smooth and there are no jitters and no lags a few things of course are broken but that is something which you should come to expect from nightly builds and there it is peeps that was our first look at the official lineage os 18.1 build based on android 11 for the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you